Mishnah, Mosh Shekalim chapter Mishnah on the first of Adar public announcement is made concerning the payment of the shekels and concerning the diverse kinds on the fifteenth thereof the scroll of Esther is read in walled cities and the roads and the broadways and the ritual water baths are repaired and all public duties are performed and the graves are marked and messengers go forth also concerning the diverse kinds Mishnah Arjuna said aforetime they used to pluck up the diverse kinds and cast them before the owners but when transgressors increased in number they used to pluck them up and cast them on the roads finally they ordained that the whole field should be declared ownerless property mission on the 15th thereof tables of money changers were set up in the provinces on the 25th they were set up in the temple when the tables were set up in the temple they began to dis tyrain whom did the dis tyrain love and israelites proselytes and freed slaves but not women or slaves or minors a minor on whose behalf his father had begun to pay the shekel may not discontinue it again but no distraint was levied on the priests in order to promote peacefulness mission arjuda said ben bukri testified at jabna that a priest who paid the shekel did not commit a sin but rabbin yohanan the son of zakay said to him not so but a priest who did not pay the shekel was guilty of a sin only the priests expounded this verse thus for their own benefit and every Meal offering of the priest shall be wholly burnt, it shall not be eaten if therefore the omer and the two loaves and the shoe bread are brought from our contributions, how can they be eaten? Mishnah, although it was said that no distraint is levied on women or slaves or minors, yet if these paid the shekel it is accepted of them, if a heathen or a kutian paid the shekel it is not accepted of them, likewise burnt offerings of men who had an issue and burnt offerings of women who had an issue and burnt offerings of women after childbirth and sin offerings and guilt offerings are not accepted of them, but the offerings and free will offerings are accepted of them. This is the general rule, all offerings which can be made as a vow offering or a free will offering are accepted of them, but offerings that cannot be made as a vow offering or a free will offering are not accepted of them, and thus it is explicitly stated in the book of Ezra where it is said, you have nothing to do with us to build a House unto our God Mishnah the following are liable to pay a surcharge levites and Israelites and proselytes and freed slaves but not priests or women or slaves or minors if a man paid the shekel on behalf of a priest or on behalf of a woman or on behalf of a slave or on behalf of a minor he is exempt if a man paid the shekel on his own behalf and on behalf of his fellow he is liable to pay but one surcharge our mayor says two surcharges if one gave a seller and received a shekel he is liable to pay two surcharges Mishnah if a man paid the shekel on behalf of a poor man or on behalf of his neighbor or on behalf of his fellow townsmen he is exempt from a surcharge but if he did it as a loan to them he is liable brothers who are partners are exempt from the tithe of cattle when they are liable to a surcharge but when they are liable to the tithe of cattle they are exempt from the surcharge and how much is the surcharge of silver my office armor but the sages say half a mile Mishnah Mosh Shekalim chapter Mishnah shekels may be changed into derricks in order to lighten the load of the journey just as there were chests in the temple so were there chests in the province if the people of the town had sent their shekels and they were stolen or lost and if the appropriation had already been made the messengers swear the oath of acquittal to the treasurers but if the appropriation had not yet been made they swear to the townspeople and the townspeople must pay fresh shekels in the place of the lost shekels if the lost shekels were found or if the thieves restored them and both the first shekels and their substitutes are accounted sacred shekels but they cannot be credited to the account of the coming year Mishnah if a man gave his shekel to his fellow to pay it on his behalf but his fellow paid it on behalf of himself and if the appropriation had already been made his fellow is guilty of sacrilege if a man paid his shekel out of money Belonging to the sanctuary, then if the appropriation had already been made and an animal bought out of the appropriation had already been offered, he is guilty of sacrilege if he did it with money which was the value of second tithes or the value of seventh year produce, he must consume food to the value thereof. Mishnah, if a man saved coins and said, Lo, these are for my shekel, Beth Sham, I say the surplus of the coins goes to the chest of free will offerings, but Beth Hillel say the surplus thereof is common property. If he said, From these coins I shall offer my shekel, both schools agree that the surplus thereof is common property. If he said, These coins are for a sin offering, both agree that the surplus goes to the chest of free will offerings. If he said, From these I shall offer a sin offering, both schools agree that the surplus is common property. Mishnah, our Simeon said, What is the difference between shekels and a sin offering? Shekels have a fixed value, but a sin offering has no fixed value. Our Judah says shekels also have no fixed value. For when the Israelites came up out of the captivity, they used to pay the shekel in derricks, then they paid the shekel in cellars, then again they paid it in tibin, and finally they sought to pay it in dinars. But our Simeon said, nevertheless, the value thereof remained the same for everybody. Whereas in the case of a sin offering, one man may bring it of the value of one cellar, another may bring it of the value of two cellars, and again another of three cellars. Mission: the surplus of money set aside for shekels is common property, but the surplus of money set aside for the tenth of the ephah, and the surplus of money set aside for burnt offerings of men who had an issue for burnt offerings of women who had an issue for burnt offerings of women after childbirth, their surplus goes to the chest of free will offerings. This is the general rule of all money set aside for a sin offering or for a guilt offering. The Surplus goes to the chest of free will offerings. The surplus of money set aside for a burnt offering must be used for a burnt offering. The surplus of money set aside for a meal offering must be used for a meal offering. The surplus of money set aside for a peace offering must be used for a peace offering. The surplus of money set aside for a Passover offering must be used for a Passover offering. The surplus of money raised for the offerings of Nazi rites must be used for the offerings of other Nazi rites. The surplus of money raised for the offerings of a particular Nazi rite must go to the chest of free will offerings. The surplus of money raised for the poor must be used for other poor. The surplus of money raised for a particular poor person must be given to that poor person. The surplus of money raised for the ransom of captives must be used for the ransom of other captives. The surplus of money raised for the ransom of a particular Captive must be given to that captive. The surplus of the money raised for the burial of the dead must be used for the burial of other dead. The surplus of the money raised for the burial of a particular dead person must be given to his heirs. Our says the surplus of money raised for the burial of a particular dead person must be laid aside until Elijah comes. Our Nathan says the surplus of money raised for the burial of a particular dead person must be used for building a monument for him over his grave. Mishnah, Mosh Shekalim chapter Mishnah. At three periods of the year was the appropriation made from the shekels in the chamber half a month before the Passover, half a month before Pentecost, and half a month before the Feast of Tabernacles. These are also the seasons for the tithe of cattle. Thus, our Akiba Ben Eze says on the 29th of Adar and on the 1st of Sivan and on the 29th of Abar Eliezer and our Simeon say on the 1st of Nisan on the 1st. Of Sivan and on the 29th of Elul, wherefore did they say on the 29th of Elul and not on the 1st of Tishri because the 1st of Tishri is a festival and it is not permitted to tithe on a festival, therefore they advance it to the 29th of Elul. Mission of the appropriation in the chamber was made with three baskets each of the capacity of three Seahs and on them was inscribed respectively Allah Beth Gimel Ishmael says on them was inscribed in Greek Alpha Beta Gamla He, who made the appropriation, did not enter the chamber wearing either a bordered cloak or shoes or sandals or tefillin or an amulet, lest if he became poor people might say that he became poor because of an iniquity committed in the chamber, or if he became rich people might say that he became rich from the appropriation in the chamber, for it is a man's duty to be free of blame before men as before God as it is said and be guiltless towards the Lord and towards Israel, and again it says so shall. Thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man Mishnah members of Rabban Gamaliel's household used to enter the chamber with their shekel between their fingers and throw it in front of him who made the appropriation while he who made the appropriation purposely pressed it into the basket he who made the appropriation did not make it unless he first said to them shall I make the appropriation and they said to him three times make the appropriation make the appropriation make the appropriation Mishnah when he made the first appropriation he covered what was left with leather spreads and when he made the second appropriation he again covered what was left
wall of the city and the towers thereof and all the needs of the city came out of the remainder in the chamber Abbas all says the viaduct for the red cow the high priest made out of their own means mission what was done with the surplus of the remainder in the chamber therewith were bought wines oils and fine flowers and the profit belonged to the sanctuary thus are Ishmael our Akiva says one may not deal with the property of the sanctuary nor with the property of the poor mission what was done with the surplus of the appropriation thereof were made beaten plates of gold for covering the interior of the holy of holies Arishmael says the surplus from the sale of the produce was used for the altar's dessert and the surplus of the appropriation was used for the vessels of ministration our Akiva says the surplus of the appropriation was used for the altar's dessert and the surplus of the drink offerings was used for the vessels of ministration our Hanani, the chief of the priests says the surplus of the drink offerings was used for the altar's dessert and the surplus of the appropriation was used for the vessels of ministration neither of these two sages allowed a profit from the sale of the produce mission what was done with the surplus of the frankincense they set apart therefrom the wages of the craftsmen and when they had exchanged it for the wages of the craftsmen they gave it to the craftsmen as their wages and then they bought it back again out of a new appropriation if the new one had arrived in time they bought it back again with the new appropriation but if not they bought it back again with the old one mission if a man dedicated his possessions to the sanctuary and there was among them a that was fit for public offerings it should be given to the craftsmen as their wages thus are acable. but Benazay said to him this is not in accordance with the established rule nay rather they set apart therefrom the wages of the craftsmen and when they had exchanged it for the money due to the craftsmen they gave it to the craftsmen as their wages and then they bought it back again out of a new appropriation mission if a man dedicated his possessions to the sanctuary and there were among them cattle fit for the altar males or females or Eliezer says males should be sold for the use of burnt offerings and females should be sold for the use of peace offerings and the price thereof together with the rest of the possessions should go to the repair of the temple our Joshua says the males should themselves be offered up as burnt offerings and the females should be sold for the use of peace offerings and for the price thereof burnt offerings should be offered and the other possessions should go to the repair of the temple our Akiva says I prefer the opinion of our Eliezer above the opinion of our Joshua for our Eliezer applied a uniform rule but our Joshua differentiated our Papia said I have heard a tradition in accordance with the opinions of both sages that if a man dedicated to the sanctuary in definite terms it is according to the opinion of our Eliezer but if he dedicated to the sanctuary in indefinite terms it is according to the opinion of our Joshua Mishnah if a man dedicated his possessions to the sanctuary and there were among them things fit for the altar such as wines oils and birds our Eliezer says they should be sold for the use of offerings belonging to each particular kind and for the price thereof burnt offerings should be offered while the other possessions should go to the repair of the temple Mishnah once in thirty days prices were fixed on behalf of the chamber if a man had undertaken to supply fine flowers at four seahs for a seller and they now stood at three seahs for a seller he must still supply at four seahs if he had undertaken to supply at three seahs for a seller and they now stood at four he must also supply at four for the sanctuary has the upper hand if the fine flower Became worm eaten the losses is if the wine became sour the losses is for he is not entitled to his money except after the altar has accepted the offering Mishnah. Mosh Shekalim chapter Mishnah these were the officers in the temple Yohanan the son of Phineas was over the seals Ahijah over the drink offerings Mattithi the son of Samuel over the lots Pethi over the bird offerings the same Pethi was Mordecai wherefore was his name called Pethi because he opened matters and expounded them and he understood the seventy tongues the son of Ahijah was over the sickness of the bowels Nehunia was digger of ditches Gabbai was the crier the son of Jeber was over the locking of the gates the son of Babai was over the strips the son of Arza over the symbol Hydro the son of Levi over the singing the house of Garmi over the making of the shoe bread the house of Abdinus over the preparing of the frankincense Eliezer over the veil and Phineas over the vestments Mishnah Treasurers were not less than three and the superintendents not less than seven nor may authority be exercised in matters of money by less than two officers except in the case of Ahijah who was over the sickness of the bowels and Eliezer who was over the veil for these had been accepted by the majority of the public mission there were four seals in the temple and on them was inscribed respectively Kaf Ramkit Sinner Ben says there were five and on them was inscribed in Aramaic. Respectively Kaf Ramkit Poor Sinner and Rich Sinner the seal inscribed Kaf served for the drink offerings of kind both great and small male and female the one inscribed Kid served for the drink offerings of flocks both great and small male and female with the exception of those of Rams the one inscribed Ram served for the drink offerings of Rams alone the one inscribed Sinner served for the drink offerings of the three animals offered by lepers mission if a man required drink. Offerings he would go to Yohanan who was the officer over the seals and give him money and receive from him a seal and he would go to Ahijah who was the officer over the drink offerings and give him a seal and receive from him drink offerings and in the evening these two officers would come together and Ahijah would bring out the seals and receive money for their value and if there was more than their value the surplus belonged to the sanctuary but if there was less than their value Yohanan would pay the loss out of his own means for the sanctuary as the upper hand mission if a man lost his seal his case was deferred until the evening if then they found money over to the value of his lost seal they gave it to him put if not he had nothing moreover on the seals was inscribed the name of the day in order to guard against imposters mission there were two chambers in the temple one the chamber of secret gifts and the other the chamber of the vessels the chamber of Secret gifts and fearing persons used to put their gifts therein in secret and the poor who were descended of the virtuous were supported therefrom in secret the chamber of the vessels whoever offered a vessel as a gift used to throw it therein and once in thirty days the treasurers opened it and any vessel they found therein that was of use for the repair of the temple they left there but the others were sold and their price went to the chamber of the repair of the temple Misha, Mas. Shekalim chapter Misha there were in the temple thirteen chests thirteen tables and thirteen prostrations members of the household of Rabban Gamaliel and of Arhanani the chief of the priests used to prostrate themselves fourteen times and where was the additional prostration in front of the store of wood for thus they had a tradition from their forefathers that the ark was hidden there Misha once it happened that a certain priest who was busy there noticed that the pavement was different there from the others he went and told it to his fellow but before he had time to finish his words his soul departed and it became known of a surety that the ark was hidden there mission but where did they make the prostrations four times in the north four times in the south three times in the east and twice in the west in front of the thirteen gates the southern gates close to the west side were the upper gate the gate of the fuel the gate of the firstborn animals and the water gate wherefore was its name called the water gate because through it was brought in the flask of water for the libation on the feast of tabernacles or Eliezer the son of Jacob says through it the waters trickled forth and in the hereafter they will issue out from under the threshold of the house over against them in the north close to the west were the gate of Jonia the gate of the offerings the gate of the women and the gate of song and wherefore was its name called the gate of Jonia because through it Jonia went forth into his captivity in the east was the gate of Nicanor and it had two wickets one to the right and one to the left there were also two gates in the west which however had no name Mishnah there were thirteen tables in the temple eight of marble in the place of slaughtering on which the entrails were rinsed and two to the west of the ascent to the altar one of marble and one of silver on that of marble were placed the limbs of it offerings and on that of silver the vessels of ministration there were two tables in the porch within the entrance of the house one of marble and the other of gold on that of marble the shoe bread was placed when it was brought in and on that of gold the shoe bread was placed when it was taken out because things sacred may be raised in honor but not lowered and within there was one table of gold on which the shoe bread lay continually Mishnah there were thirteen chests in the temple and on them was inscribed respectively new shekels old shekels burnt offerings young pigeons for burnt offerings with frankincense gold for the mercy seat and on six was inscribed for free will offerings the shekels those for each year old shekels whosoever has not paid his shekel in the past year may pay it in the coming year burnt offerings these are turtle doves young pigeons for burnt offerings these are young pigeons both these two chests are for burnt offerings thus are judah but the sages say of the chest inscribed burnt offerings
and it was nearer to the chest inscribed shekels it goes to the shekels it nearer to the chest inscribed for free will offerings it goes to free will offerings if midway it goes to free will offerings if money was found between the chest inscribed wood and the chest inscribed frankincense and it was nearer to the chest inscribed wood it goes to the wood if nearer to the chest inscribed frankincense it goes to frankincense if midway it goes to frankincense if it was found between the chest inscribed bird offerings and the chest inscribed young pigeons for burnt offerings and it was nearer to the chest inscribed bird offerings it goes to bird offerings if nearer to the chest inscribed young pigeons for burnt offerings it goes to young pigeons for burnt offerings if midway it goes to young pigeons for burnt offerings if it was found between common money and second tides money and it was nearer to the common money it is considered common money if nearer to the second tides money it is considered second tides money if midway it is considered second tides money this is the general rule such money is assigned to that which is nearer to it even if it is thereby made less important but if midway it is assigned to that which is the more important mission if money was found in front of cattle dealers at any time of the year it is deemed to be second tides money if it was found in the temple mount it is deemed to be common money Rut if it was found in Jerusalem during the season of festivals, it is deemed to be second tithes money but all the rest of the year it is deemed to be common money mission if flesh was found in the temple court and it was cut up in limbs it must be treated as belonging to burnt offerings but if cut up in ordinary pieces it must be treated as belonging to sin offerings if flesh was found in Jerusalem it must be treated as belonging to peace offerings in either case it must be left to become disfigured and must then be taken away to the place of burning if found within the borders and it was cut up in limbs it must be treated as carrion but if cut up in ordinary pieces it is fit for food but if found during the season of festivals when flesh is abundant it is fit for food even when cut up in limbs mission if cattle was found in Jerusalem as far as Miguel and within a like distance on any side of Jerusalem males must be considered as being Burnt offerings but females must be considered as peace offerings are Judah says if they were fit for the Passover offering they must be considered as Passover offerings when found within 30 days before the feast of Passover mission of four time they used to dis tyrain anyone who had found such a stray animal unless he also offered the drink offerings thereof then men would leave the animal and run away so the court ordained that the drink offerings thereof should be offered out of public funds mission our Simeon said seven things the court ordained and that was one of them the others were the following if a heathen sent a burnt offering from the lands beyond the sea and with it he sent the drink offerings thereof they are offered out of his own means but if he did not send the drink offerings thereof they should be offered out of public funds thus also in the case of a proselyte who had died and left sacrifices to be offered then if he had also left the drink Offerings thereof they are offered out of his own but if not they should be offered out of public funds it was also a condition laid down by the court in the case of a high priest who had died that his meal offerings should be offered out of public funds our Judah says it was offered out of the property of his heirs and had to be offered of the whole tent mission they further ordained concerning the salt and the wood that the priests should make use thereof and concerning the red cow that the use of its ashes should not involve the guilt of sacrilege and concerning bird offerings which had become unfit for sacrifice that others should be offered in their stead out of public funds our Jose says the dealer who supplied the bird offerings was bound to supply at his cost also those which had to be offered in the stead of those which had become unfit mission Mosh Shekalim chapter mission any spittle found in Jerusalem is clean except that which is found in the upper Market thus our Meir our Jose says at other times of the year spittle found in the middle of the road is unclean while spittle found at the sides of the road is clean but in the season of festivals spittle found in the middle of the road is clean while that which is found at the sides of the road is unclean for since persons who have an issue are few in number they betake themselves in the season of festivals to the sides of the road mission all vessels found in Jerusalem in the way of going down to the place of immersion are unclean but those found in the way of going up from the place of immersion are clean for they are not in the same condition when on the way going down to the place of immersion as on the way going up there from thus our Meir our Jose says they are all clean except the basket and the shovel and the bone crusher which are specially connected with work in burial places mission if a slaughtering knife was found on the 14th of Nisan. It may be used forthwith for slaughtering if it was found on the 13th of Nisan it must be immersed again before use but a chopper whether found on the 14th or on the 13th must be immersed again before use if the 14th fell on a Sabbath it may be used for slaughtering forthwith if found on the 15th it may also be used for slaughtering forthwith if the chopper was found tied to a slaughtering knife it may be treated as a knife mission if the veil was defiled by a derived uncleanness it is immersed within the precincts of the temple and brought in again forthwith but if it was defiled by a principal uncleanness it must be immersed outside and spread out in the hell if it was new it was spread out on the roof of the colonnade so that the people might behold its fair workmanship mission Rabban Simeon the son of Gamaliel says in the name of our Simeon the son of the chief of the priests the veil was a hand breadth in thickness and was Woven on 74 cords, each cord made up of 22 threads, it was 40 cubits long and 20 cubits broad, and was made up of 82 times 10,000. Two bales were made every year, and 300 priests were needed to immerse it. Mishnah, flesh of the most holy offerings was defiled, whether by a principal uncleanness or by a derived uncleanness, whether inside or outside the precincts of the temple. Beth Shammai say it must all be burnt within, except when defiled outside. By a principal uncleanness, but Beth Hillel say it must all be burnt outside, except that which was defiled by a derived uncleanness within. Mishnah, Eliezer says flesh which was defiled by an uncleanness, whether inside or outside the temple precincts, must be burnt within. Our Akiba says where it was defiled, there also must it be burnt. Mishnah, the limbs of the daily burnt offering were placed on the half of the ascent to the altar downwards on the west side, those of the additional burnt. Offering were placed on the half of the ascent downwards on the east side, while those of the new moon offerings were placed under the rim of the altar downwards. The laws of the shekels and of the first fruit have force only during the time of the existence of the temple, but the laws of the tithe of corn and of the tithe of cattle and of the firstborn are in force both during the time of the existence of the temple and when there is no temple in existence, if a man dedicated to the sanctuary. Shekels and first fruit, when there was no temple in existence, they become holy. Our Simeon says, if he said the first fruit be holy, they are not holy.